Big Ten. So we're really excited to have you in the Big Ten. Welcome to the Big Ten. What's up, everybody? Big Ten here today to go over and review the Topps custom card process and product available on Topps.com. Uh, I stumbled onto this product while I was trying to figure out how to complete the damage card claim also on Topps.com. Um, by the way, be sure to check out my video on that process as well. Uh, but anyway, I realized that this was the perfect birthday gift for my younger Cubs fan brother that has just about every other piece of memorabilia known to man. Um, for those who don't know my younger brother Luke, he is a three-time cancer survivor and uh, just celebrated his 20th anniversary of being diagnosed 10 days before celebrating his 24th birthday. Um, I'll save you the math, but having uh, cancer at any age sucks, but at the age of three, it's absolute shit. Sorry for the language, but uh, luckily there are amazing people out there that will do just about anything to make that situation better for a three-year-old. Um, whether it be a Buzz Lightyear toy, uh, Robbie Gold autographed hat, or having Anthony Rizzo drop by the hospital to cheer him up. Uh, so like I said, all these toys and memorabilia that he got make finding a unique birthday gift for this guy a little bit tough. Huh. But back to the custom card. Uh, this custom card building tool is found on Tops.com. Uh, it's on their homepage menu under custom cards, not cards and collectibles. Uh, once you are in that tool, uh, you are first tasked with selecting a photo to use on your custom card. There are rules that you must abide by for the photo selection. Not only are you required to have the rights to the photo you use, uh, but you, most, you must also have permission to use any person or copyrighted image that you put on the card. Um, you would think that you can get around those rules, but you can't. And I learned firsthand that you can't. <laughs> The first image I submitted was um, Luke being photographed with Anthony Rizzo in front of the home dugout, not just at Wrigley Field, but on Wrigley Field. Uh, again, you know, people going out of their way for Luke. Uh, seeing that this was a personal photo that was taken by my family, I assumed it would pass Topps' uh, requirements for an acceptable photo. Uh, but a few days after submitting my first order, I received an email from Topps saying that my photo violated the copyright rules for including an MLB player and or logo. Um, I called them up and per Topps customer service, I was told that the only way around this was to get a letter of release from the Cubs allowing me to use a photo of their player on my custom card. Uh, I did not have time to go through all of that, so it's time for plan B. Um, luckily, Todd had enjoyed Luke's company so much that he invited him back for a second game um, once he uh, was up and feeling a little bit stronger. And uh, he told him that not only would they watch the game from the owner's seats down low next to the dugout, but they would also go up and work the historic Wrigley Field scoreboard during the game. So that made for an epic photo, which turned out to work just as well as my first option for the custom card. Uh, I did double check with Tops before submitting a second order, um, and they did confirm that this one was okay to use. Um, you know, better be safe than sorry. Anyway, once you uh, have an acceptable image, um, you get to select the year style of the card that you want. Uh, I was surprised to see how few options you get to pick from, and none of them are actually from the current 2019 sets. Um, if you want to do a baseball card, you are uh, able to select from 2018 tops, 2017 tops, 2016 tops, 92 Bowman, 87 tops, 86 tops, 73 tops, 71 tops. 68 tops and 58, uh, excuse me, 52 tops. Um, there are no parallels to choose from. There's no chrome option to choose from. No stadium club, no finest, just 
Base tops. Except for the 92 Bowman. Base Bowman. Um, and that is unless you've selected a landscape photo, which I did. Then your only choice is 2018 tops. Uh, do you want an MLS card? And then you can select 2015 tops. But nothing else. And if you're doing soccer, don't even think about getting a landscape soccer card. There are no options for that. So my card was the landscape photo, meaning I was stuck with 2018 tops. Fortunately, I am a fan of 2018 tops, so I rolled with it and moved down to select my team. Uh, you can select any MLB team or upload your own team logo. Once again, it cannot be a copyrighted image, so don't expect to come in here and make like an NFL or NHL or NCAA card just because it's not baseball. Um, I mean, I guess you could use like the Washington Redskins since they lost their copyright, but who knows, they might block you that on that too. Right, uh, so hit that next button and you'll go on to add text to your card. Uh, you are able to type in a name for the front and the back of the card and select a position. Um, you choose from one of the nine standard positions or you can create your own. Um, if they, they do offer right, left, and center field, but if you want it to say standard outfield, you'd have to make that a custom uh, position. Upon testing that tool, um, it doesn't limit you to a number of characters for the name and position, but it will continue to shrink and shrink and shrink the font to fit um, everything you type all the way to the point where you can't read it. So, yeah, it's limited to a point, I guess. However small font you can read. Uh, the other point to make there is that tops are reserves to write to reject your card if they don't like a word that you put on the card. So keep it clean, folks. Uh, but that just about does it for the front of the card. Uh, you then get the option to flip it over and go to town on the rear. Uh, on the rear, you get to select a hometown, which you should fill out since it keeps hometown on the card regardless if you leave it blank or not. And if you leave it blank, it's just going to look stupid. Uh, you also get to type a little story of 500 words or less about whoever or whatever you put on the front of your custom card. Again, keep it clean. Um, give it about a week and you'll receive a nicely bubble wrapped package in your mail containing a little Lucite case of your 20 custom cards or more if you bought more. 20 is the minimum order. Um, that is for $9.99. Uh, $9.99, of course. Um, $1,000 for 20 custom cards would be ridiculous. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the case shows up, and it has a nice little soft foam layer in there to, ta uh, to protect the gla glossy front from the top of the card. Easy for me to say. Uh, overall, I wasn't thrilled with the final product. Uh, they tell you that you're getting a genuine product featuring official tops card specs. 16-point uh, clay-coated glossy stock featuring a protective UV coating. But I feel they cut some corners. Uh, if you look in here, comparing the custom card to the actual base set, uh, the first thing I noticed was that the custom card has no foil tops logo. See up in the corners, nothing, nothing at the top compared to the Ian Hap. You the nice tops logo. So, maybe am I being nitpicky? Maybe. Um, I mean, it would be fine if you're buying like a card with a 73 tops frame. Because in 73 tops, it does not have that. But you're buying 2018 tops here. I mean, come on. Let's let's get with the show here. Make it make it look right. Uh, the next issue is the card is nearly see-through. 
if you hold it up to any light source, um, it's going to show you the printing on the opposite side of the card. Um, I mean, if you hold up the Ian Hap to a light source, you're going to see nothing but Ian Hap. Um, third issue is the nameplate is all goofed up. If you take a look again at the card here, um, basically it's in all uppercase block caps lock yelling at you font compare it to the base set and the first name is in a nice smaller font giving it that uh, asymmetrical look kind of makes it pop out of there so you want to compare the two and just because it's not just because he has a short Three letter first name. Um, and you take someone like Yelich, and they have the same effect there. So it's not the length that it modifies that. Um, my last issue is did I mention how boring the back of the card is? I mean, come on, folks. Give me a little color. And how about numbering the cards? I mean, Tabas does that for all the short prints. I shouldn't say all the short prints, but... Uh, I mean, only 20 of these cards were made. Can we add that feature? Add a nice little touch? You know, just give me 1 to 20. 2 to 20. 3 to 20. I'll stop there. But uh, yeah, maybe I'm being critical here. And I'm sure the casual collector, these things are going to be awesome. Um, they're going to love to have these and share them with friends and family and gifted animals. Um, but to me, they seem cheaply made. And they could be something that I had my local FedEx office print up. Um, I'd be much more inclined to go back and purchase more of these if they improve the product. Maybe add a couple more features. You know, maybe some parallels. Uh, give me a Chrome card. You know, even if it costs five bucks more, it'd be a nice touch. But uh, there you have it. Let me know what you think about these custom cards. Um, go give Luke a follow on Twitter. He is at Luke Stratman. Um, so just combine that into one word and put an at symbol at it. I'll have it down in the description too. Um, he's always got something interesting to say or share with the world. And then make sure you subscribe here before you go. Come back for more, right? But uh, thanks for watching. Big 10 out.